easy English. Well, today let's talk about two important differences. The difference between things and thank you. And the difference between excuse me and I'm sorry. Okay, first, repeat after me. Things. One more time. Things. Again. Things. Now repeat after me. Thank you. Repeat one more time. Thank you. One more time. Thank you. So, as you notice, the first difference is that in the first case, we say thanks. Thanks for informal situations. And we said, thank you for formal situations. Ambas significan gracias. Lo que pasa es que thanks es una manera mucho más común y es más utilizada. Thank you es algo más formal. Y es como si dijéramos en realidad, gracias a ti. Thank you. Thank you. ¿Ok? So, you can use both expressions and both are correct. Thanks, thank you, para agradecer. Bien, ya sabemos cómo decir gracias, utilizando las expresiones thanks and thank you. Pero también podemos decir muchas gracias. Ahora, ¿cómo diremos muchas gracias en inglés? Existen diferentes maneras de decirlo. Veamos las más comunes. The first is, thank you very much. Repeat after me. Thank you very much. One more time. Thank you very much. Correct. The second common expression is, thank you so much. Repeat after me. Thank you so much. One more time. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's see some useful expressions with the words thank you. Okay, the first one is thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Gracias por tu tiempo. Thank you for your time. One more time, repeat after me. Thank you for your time. Another common expression is thank goodness. Thank goodness. Repeat after me. Thank goodness. Gracias a Dios. Thank goodness. Pues bien, cuando alguien nos dice gracias o muchas gracias, por lo general solemos responder de nada. ¿Cómo decimos esta frase en inglés? Es muy fácil. Repeat after me. You're welcome. One more time. You're welcome. The last, you're welcome. So, somebody tells you, thank you, you're welcome. De nada. Aparte de la más común que es de nada, también tenemos otras expresiones como no hay problema. So, in English, no problem. Repeat after me. No problem. One more time. No problem. Thank you, no problem. Thank you, no problem. Another typical answer is my pleasure. Repeat after me. My pleasure. My pleasure. Un placer. Gracias. Un placer. Un placer ayudarte. So you have. Thank you, my pleasure. Okay, so you can use these expressions. No problem, my pleasure, and the most common, which is you're welcome. To say to the other person that it was good to help. Muchos se preguntan cuál es la diferencia entre I'm sorry and excuse me. Let's see. First, let's see when do we use excuse me. Please, repeat after me. Excuse me. One more time. Excuse me. Again, 
excuse me. Okay, let's see. The first use of excuse me. We use excuse me when you want somebody attention. When you want the other person to pay you attention. Cuando queremos que la otra persona nos preste atención. For example, we don't know here the name of a person and we say, Excuse me, are you Marco? Estamos llamando la atención de la otra persona para preguntarle, Disculpa, ¿eres Marco? Estamos queriendo su atención. Or when you say, Excuse me, do you know? Disculpa, ¿sabes? Okay, for example, excuse me, do you know where is the pharmacy? Disculpa, ¿sabes dónde está la farmacia? Para llamar la atención de alguien. The second use of excuse me is when you deliberate haven't heard somebody but you say excuse me in a polite way. Cuando... De alguna manera u otra hemos incomodado a una persona, pero no ha sido al propósito. Por ejemplo, you say, ah, you. And you say, excuse me. Estornudamos, pero luego pedimos disculpas. Excuse me. Ok, now let's see when do we use I'm sorry. Please, repeat after me. I'm sorry. One more time. I'm sorry. Again. I'm sorry. As you can see, I'm is the contraction of I am. So, it is I am sorry. But it's not typical to say this. So, we only say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, when do we use I'm sorry? The first use I'm sorry is when you say, for example, when you did something that was hard. Or when you did something that is what's not okay, something unacceptable, and you make a mistake, and then you ask for forgiveness. Cuando cometemos algún error y luego queremos pedir disculpas por aquel error que hemos cometido. O quizás hemos ofendido a alguien. Okay, so for example, if you say, I'm sorry that I broke your PlayStation. Lamento haber roto tu PlayStation. Okay, the second use of I'm sorry is when you want to show empathy or sympathy to somebody else. Cuando queremos demostrar nuestra empatía por algún hecho ocurrido. For example, we can say I'm sorry that your dad died. Lamento que tu padre haya muerto. De esa manera podemos utilizar las expresiones Excuse me and I'm sorry. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. Recuerda suscribirte si aún no lo has hecho. Recuerda seguirme en mis redes sociales de Facebook, Twitter, Instagram y compartir el video si les ha gustado. También comenta si tienes algún pedido o alguna inquietud. De repente quieres alguna clase en especial, hazlo. Okay, so that's all for today. See you next class. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. You live a new life for every new language you speak. If you only know one language, you live only once.